Yeah, I could have a view or so. Yeah, that's it. Had a good day yesterday. Went to a second hand shop. It's, uh, it's called some more cassette tapes. Got this one and all these. All for a dollar. Bargain. Every other shop I see a cassette tape set, they want something like five dollars each. Crazy. The tip shop is, yeah, it's cheaper. I can get tapes for as low as a dollar each sometimes. Sometimes I can get 50 cents each, depending on who served me. But um, this other place where I get these tapes from, the cheapest. Yeah. The guy's uh, got a lot of nice collection. He fixes up old cars and um, business next door to him. Next to next door to this shop, the guy's got no DeLorean. It's nice, a DMC DeLorean. So, his uh, car, the car, the, um, the guy that has a shop, I bought these off. I think it's got this nice old EH, he's uh, restored it to mint condition, to new, or as new. Just amazing. Nice car, he drove it to Melbourne one time, he's here, told some nice interesting stories. Knows a lot about the old stuff like I do. And he also had a laptop battery there, but she didn't know what it was. So, some sort of gadget, so okay, I'll take that too. So I got that, laptop battery, and with these, all, all, all for a dollar. A laptop battery from a um, 2003 model uh, SS laptop. And it had green Panasonic Japanese cells in it. And they all were about two and a half volts. But I put them in the chargers and they've come up amazingly. The tests are bloody brand new, I must say. That's a really good score on that. Got some more good laptop cells. In doing that, my uh, bloody Opus charger decided to defecate itself. Yeah. I had some uh, triple A's being charged in this device. And this fourth bay here, fourth slot, decided to go all phantom on me and give me a phantom cell. But it wasn't actually a cell in there, just saying it was charging a cell that didn't even exist. That's a sign of a dead, uh, one of these sort of brain, I think it's got brain damage when it does that, because I did see a. It's. A frequent problem with these, it's not a common, common problem, but it does happen with these chargers. I've remedied it when I charge my 18650 laptop cells, I just got now. To remedy this one from uh, giving all phantomy, I just shorted this out with a, um, a bolt, I put a, a nail in there and shorted it out, and this thing just acted normally, and the charger functioned fine. The battery's got halfway through their charge, and this thing just stopped altogether. Completely turned off and it doesn't work at all now, so yeah, it's got brain damage, unfortunately. This chip, I reckon, it will, it will be the default. I can't see physically any burnt components on this thing. You can set it to charge to 4.2, 4.35, a bit high for that here, or 3.7. Interesting cell uh, arrangement there for the switch to set the maximum it can charge to just say it's full. Yeah, it's a shame this thing died. This is still actually quite a good charger. One of the best ones for 18650s on the market, this charger, despite this uh, fault it's got, which plagues some of these models. After uh, order or not one of these, I quite like this charger, other than that fault. Yeah, you don't see any blank components. Now it said it's got brain, brains in here, took a crap. Anyway, VTC3100, this is a version 2.2, this is a newer model, the newest one, which they've revised and improved it over the previous model, so... Hmm. So I'm just using my X-Star charger at the moment. I did like this one, because it has more features over the X-Star charger. That's why I got this one, because it's does a good job of reviving the old um, the old NICAD cells here uh, and testing them and does the test to see how much milliamp hours are left in them. This does that, the other charger I've got doesn't do that. So a bit uh, shagged off that defecated itself, but I'll have to get another one of these and I get a chance. Anyway, got some of these ones. There's this one here, FM radio songs. I think that's the tape that was in it. That's the original tape, I'm not sure. An Opus FE90, another Opus FE90. 
TDK is a good tape. Top one is all top ones. It's a TAC, CRX90, or CDX90, I should say. Yeah, CDX90. Someone's made that J sleeve. It's a bit dusty. The shed's a bit dusty these come out of. But I did check the uh, tape itself to make sure it's clean when they buy these. This is a Brooks and Dunn Country Line Dancing. They go for these uh, recordable ones. There was a lot of pre-recorded stuff, but it was all boring opera and everything. Well, nothing that really interested me, so I just go after these recordable ones. Looks like another Rapist tape, or similar. TDK, that's a good tape. Another one there. Get as much of these tapes as I can. A Bay ASF, this is a nice tape. Top one. Win, okay, the the Wind in the Willows, tape one, side two. Wind in the Willows, tape one, side two. Chapel tape, which is another brand of cassette tape. It's not, in, that's not the original case for it. The Megamix. The Ultimate Millennium Party, hey, from the year 2000. Now, there's some interesting ones on there. Megamix, the Ultimate Millennium Party, another tape of that. That'll be interesting. Vivaldi, not for vinyl. Vivaldi is some sort of an Italian uh, violin or something. So, yeah, it's nothing that really interests me, but I'm just going to use these tapes so they got something I don't like on them that's commonly available. I did Google this and it's common on Google, so you can, if you're a fan, no loss. So, I'm going to use this to record whatever I want on these tapes. That's where I get as much there as I can. If it's something rare and old, I'll Google it. If I can't find it, I'll keep the recording as it is. I'll just get more tapes. And that one is pretty, uh, yeah, pretty common, this, this um, Vivaldi. You can get that anywhere online and everything. You can listen online. So no, no big loss if I record over that. So that would be, be another NCS or um, some other tape I'll use. Anyway. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.